Hey guys, what is up? So it's me Jelos again and we're back for another Photoshop tutorial. And today I'm gonna teach you how to create this rain effect in Photoshop. So first let's just go over to adjustment layer by clicking this icon. And now go to solid color and drag this one to black. Just hit OK and right click to this one and convert to smart object. Now let's go over to filter and go to noise and add noise. And just copy these settings here so the amount is 40%. The distribution to Gaussian and check monochromatic and just press OK. Now go to filter again but this time go to blur and choose motion blur. Same thing just copy these settings here. So you can also change the angle by just dragging this icon over here. But for me I'm just gonna choose 90 degrees for this one. And the distance of about 30 pixels and just press OK. Now press Ctrl T and just hit OK to change the size of our rain effect. Now just go over here and change the width to about 200 and just click the check mark to apply the effect. Now you can change the blending mode from normal to screen. And there you go, you have your rain effect already. We can just remove this part here since there are no lights here and our subject is blocking the lights from the building. So we can create a layer mask by clicking this icon, choose a brush tool and let's choose a soft round brush for this one. So just remember whenever in a layer mask, black foreground to erase and the white foreground to paint over. So you can interchange between these two colors by just pressing X. So if you want to erase some parts here, just use a black foreground and just delete. And maybe just lower the flow to about 30% and just erase some of the rain effects here. And there you go. And now we can also add a splash effect on the raindrops in our umbrella by just creating a new layer so that it's gonna be non-destructive and just choose a brush tool by pressing B. Just click this icon so if you don't have this icon over here just go to window and just check brushes. So the first one is just go over to uh, splash photoshop brushes 4 and I'm gonna choose 36 for this one. And I'm just gonna put some rain effect, uh, some splash effect on this one. And I'm just gonna increase the flow, so maybe a little bit here. And I'm just gonna add some water droplets in our umbrella. So let's go over to uh, free water bubbles photoshop brushes number 10. Let's just open this up. And I'm gonna choose number 33 for this one. So we can also change the angle of the brush by just going over here and just dragging this arrow. So I'm just gonna put some drops here. Also here and here and here. Now I'm just going to choose an eraser tool and just delete some of these parts. Maybe increase the flow. And for the final effect, I'm just going to add a bokeh effect on this one. So I'm going to choose number 37 in our bubbles photoshop brushes number 10. And I'm going to change the angle again and maybe put some uh, bubbles um, over here i mean let's just create a new layer so that it's gonna be non-destructive and put the bubbles here and then convert this one to a smart object go to filter blur and choose motion blur and just put the distance about 40 and just press ok now i can create a layer mask and just delete some parts that are covering our main subject. And there you go, now we are done with our rain effect in Photoshop. So I hope you've learned something from this tutorial and if you do, just hit the like button and the notification bell and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it would help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video.